team, what is going on? Have you ever wondered what are some non-conventional ways that you can carry your own EDC? In this video, I'm gonna give you a good, viable, non-conventional way that I personally have used that I think is a great option for those that are looking for an alternative than just the typical outside the waistband or inside the waistband option. All right, let's get into this video. What is happening team, Travis Kennedy here, former Navy SEAL and owner of Kennedy Defensive Solutions and welcome to my EDC carry option video. In this video, I'm specifically gonna be talking about the Black Hawk Nacho. Before I get into this, I wanna thank all of you for watching, so thank you very much for tuning in. Also wanna thank Black Hawk for making this video happen as well. So, getting right into it, the Black Hawk Stash Nacho. Nacho stands for non-conventional adaptive carry option. Long title, that's why they break it down in the acronym, but this is what it is, the stash nacho with the stash inside the waistband holster. This is their belly band, and where this comes into play is if you're wearing, if you typically wear you know, athletic attire, or if you're just relaxing, this is a great option just to, I could have all my EDC load out all in one place. I could slap this around my, my, my waistband and I could take off and go wherever I need to go quickly. For me, typically, if I'm just at home chilling, doing some work, I'm in athletic attire. I'm not just fully kitted out in my normal EDC pants, going out attire, etc. So I need a good, quick option to throw around my waist so I have all my, my kit, which I like to leave the house with. Uh, I don't like to leave the house without it. So this is my go-to. This is what I slap on really quick and I could take off. It takes seconds to put on, okay? So here are some options. So this particular nacho is paired with the stash uh, inside the waistband holster and it's connected to this one and a half inch scuba webbing, very thick, very rigid, which it's emulating a, a belt basically. Um, a good rigid nylon belt that you would wear with your regular pants, etc. Because um, that's exactly what you need to keep that a nice, effective, efficient draw, right? If I need to take this weapon out. Um, this holster is meant for my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 uh, compact. It's here, make sure it's clear and safe visually, physically. Inspect it, it's good. Goes right in, snaps in place. It's nice and secure. And that's what it looks like right here. My typical go-to carry position is appendix carry. Okay, so it'll fit nicely there, but this is completely adjustable whether you like appendix, three o'clock or four o'clock, you could shift this belly band wherever you like. Uh, so we'll pick your poison, it'll fit you, trust me. It comes with various sizes, so different waist sizes it'll come in. Uh, it has multiple pockets, as you can see, some three inch wide, some three and a half inch wide, and kind of use your imagination. You can put whatever you want in it. Uh, for example, here, I have an extra mag, my wallet over here. If I wanted to stick something, maybe a blade here, I could stick a blade in here. I could stick my EDC flashlight right here, clip it in. If you have a tourniquet, you can stick a tourniquet right in here. I mean, it's completely customizable. To, to fit your needs, your fit your situation, because not everybody's EDC loadout is the same. I'm just giving you some examples of what you can carry. You can, this is wide enough to fit um, an iPhone, so you can fit an iPhone or your type of cell phone in there. Um, I try to, I'm gonna give examples on when I would probably slap this on. I mentioned like if I'm at home doing work, if I have to leave the house really quick, maybe do a grocery run, I'll slap it on. If I'm taking the dog for a long walk, I'll slap it on, going to grab the mail, I'll slap it on. Just any, pretty much any time from at the house, but I need to leave quickly, I'll put this thing on. Uh, it's, like I said, on and off, super fast, it's comfortable, it's secure, uh, and I like it. It's a good carry option. There are other alternative carry options when it comes to EDC. There's off body, there's the fanny packs. Uh, this is just another one, belly band you know, ankle holsters. I mean, there's all kinds of other holsters out there uh, and different methods of carrying. 
this is just kind of the good, the non-conventional alternative than just the outside the waistband or inside the waistband option. Um, look, this isn't my everyday situation. However, this is one of my situations, but I keep it consistent. Whether I'm rocking just the standard, you know, pants and belt, I have this position in the same spot. Appendix carry, I don't really switch it up at all. So I want to make sure that's consistent. And sometimes I'll deviate, I'll leave a mag back, I'll, you know, maybe I'll throw in a, a flashlight instead of a blade, etc. Um, kind of shooter's choice on that one. You do what's fit for you. Uh, and I think it's a great option if you're looking to get into something new, try something new, uh, than just the kind of the, the typical IWB with wearing pants and a belt. So if you're someone out there who's always maybe athletic attire, you know, maybe that's what you wear for your profession or most of the day, every day of the week, you're just in sweatpants or athletic shorts. This is a good option right here. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like on me. That way you get an idea like how it's situated and how I position it on my person. All right team, now I put it on my waist to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Look, I'll stand up so you can see my waistline as you can tell. It, can see, it conceals pretty well. Um, not too much printing going on. Uh, it's, it's comfortable too. It's nice and tight. It's secure. It's not going anywhere. So kind of tips on how to position this thing. As you can tell, look, here sits nicely. Right here, it's on the hip bone, just right on, so it's nice and snug. It's not too above the, the waistline, and it's kind of, I don't want it to cinch down on my belly. I want it to push it down along the waist, so it's nice and snug. As you can tell, like I put the blade, put the flashlight, got my wallet, got my firearm, appendix carry, uh, and you could push it down a little lower. So it, essentially it's in the same position as if you were to wear pants and a belt. You don't really want to change too much up. Um, and like I said, you could always slide it over and put it in the, the three o'clock, the four o'clock position, however you see fit. And it's a good option. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's really, really snug and really rigid. Um, and if I go to pull here, no deviation. The belly band didn't even move. I think it's great. I'll take it off. All it takes is a couple Velcro. Up, up. Right here. And it's comfortable. That's the most important. I mean, one of the most important things, it is comfortable to, to put on. And on the back side of this thing, is a cool feature, this nice mesh that goes up against your body. It helps with sweat and just the overall comfort up against your skin. Cause you don't want something like irritating nylon or irritating material up against your skin. I mean, if you wore like an undershirt, you really wouldn't really know, you wouldn't notice at all. But like me, I don't wear two shirts um, typically. Uh, maybe if you wear like a tank top or something like that. but. Typically, it's just I wear one shirt, and this I want this to be resting on my skin. I want it to be comfortable. I don't want it to be chafing or rubbing and creating any type of hot spots. So this really makes a difference, especially because this is situated right where the gun sits, and it makes a big difference uh, to the holster and to the overall comfort of it. And massive piece of Velcro attached to it, and. You know, measure your waist, and this thing gets really, really tight too. So, and I, I did a quick draw, and you can tell it's it's not moving whatsoever. Uh, so, overall, I like it. Uh, yeah, I tell you, I use it often. There are other systems out there. Uh, this is the Blackhawk version. Uh, I really highly recommend this thing um, to kind of add it to your carry options. So you're not, you know, to get to give you versatility. You know, because you're not always wearing the same type of clothes. And I know a lot of you out there probably run in a situation like, I'm wearing these, you know, board shorts. I'm wearing regular athletic shorts, sweatpants, etc. And how am I supposed to carry my gun? You know, trust me, in the past, I just slapped on a regular holster on my athletic shorts. And it's it's all floppy and it's a, it's a complete mess and garbage. 
Um, they do make t certain types of pants and shorts out there I know of, I've seen with like an internal rigid belt, which are, it's a cool option, um, but those can get pricier and those are very kind of niche and specific. Um, this is just an overall good option because what I like about it, not only you can carry the gun, you can carry all your other accessories with it. And you know, you, you may need the blade, the gun, the wallet, the, the, the excuse me, the flashlight, the cell phone, etc. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this thing. Uh, hope this was in, you know, informative, educational for you, kind of expose you to what is out there. Uh, there's a lot of content on these types of things. I just wanted to give you my two cents on it. Um, and if you're curious as to what my complete EDC loadout is, I'll put the link up here so you guys can click on it and watch that full video. I just put that out um, a few weeks ago. And it's, it's a good video. I'll let you know what I typically carry um, on a daily basis. Uh, I'll put the link below on uh, how to get this holster linked to the Blackhawk site so you can check it out, read the full specs of it. I gave you some. You could read the full list. Uh, I didn't want to sit here and read a piece of paper and go verbatim down the list. But I gave you some important specs that I thought that you all needed to, to hear about right now. But I'll put the link below and I'll put the list below as to what I typically carry on a daily basis so you have that knowledge and please comment below let me know what your carry option what you think of this um, and if you already carry this let me know how you've been liking it uh, i also want to know about what what's your edc loadout so comment below don't forget to like and subscribe i'm going to be putting out a lot more content more videos on this uh, super excited about this super excited about the channel going forward so stay tuned teams